What's up, pink bike? Good old pink bike. Hey, this is Mikey Hatterer. We're here at Straight Acres. Dual Slalom Invitational. I'm Keelani Hine. My name is Cameron Zink. This is Nick Nesteroff. I'm our dog. We're at Straight Acres. And I'm going to do a little bike check on my uh, custom prototype. My name's Luca Cometti, and this is my bicycle. The Commensal Absolute SX. Uh, we designed this one together a couple years ago, and then they stopped making it, and I've just kind of held on to it for certain types of riding. I mean, I got a 90 mil pike with a 27.5 wheel for traction. Um, and then the back is 26. And But this guy is like, mainly it kind of started for front tire options. Like I didn't have the tires I wanted. And in 27.5, Kenny's got them all. So I'm like, well, we'll just, you know, we'll change the fork a bit. We'll, you know, make sure I'm like be a little upset and make a 90 mil fork they don't make. But yeah, that's the setup. All right, what's up guys? Bob Warren here. Today, riding the Evil Calling. One of my favorite bikes, running a small. Setup is running carbon wheels, carbon bars, carbon frame, super stiff suspension, brakes are switched, flat pedal guy. Other than that, I got pretty much the suspension valve pretty much for slalom, where it's just super shimmed and super stiff and running all the Shimano components, cranks, Saint, and then the Kendo tires, the booster in the back. And then the front, running the Penner, and pretty much the colorway, you know, running October, orange and black, honestly. One of my favorite bikes to ride. This is my YT Play. This is the, the carbon version that they were teasing for years, and then they finally came out with it a limited run, and I've actually been running wheels, rear shock, and most of it. Um, Fox switched us over to Marzocchi this year, so I got a red fork, but other than that, this is like the same bike I've been on for two years, and it's kind of funny. This used to be my most used bike, the slope, the slope bike, and now it's I haven't ridden this thing in months. I've just been riding my downhill bike and my trail bike. So one of the cooler aspects of it is it's a bottom bracket pivot so you can run single speed. I would say my favorite thing about the bike is the short rear end, um, especially for slope style. It made it really easy to do flat flips. I think it's like 15 and a quarter for the, for the rear chain stays. And say, all you need to know is census grip. <laughs> okay. All you need to know is sentence grips. That was mm. awesome. Good job, baby. Got some great help from the friends over at Evil Bikes. They got a size medium calling frame. And I went ahead and built it up to what I think is the coolest slalom race bike you could build. Started off with SR Sun Tour suspension. Got a extra stiff negative spring on the Ion front fork. Running that at about 150 PSI. Same thing with the Tri-Air in the back. Got that actually de-stroked a little bit. So instead of this bike being 140 travel, it's 110. Probably one of the only bikes out here you're gonna see that has electronic shifting. I've got the XT Di2 kit. Got that cool little zzz zzz noise. Always with the HT pedals, but since we're here in the slalom capital of the world, San Diego, we gotta rock the uh, Aaron Gwynn HT X2 pedals. So that's gonna be the ticket here. Try and go as fast as we can down the straight acre slalom. This here is a Canyon Neuron demo bike that I have stolen from Canyon and made my own slalom machine. We have hand guards, because there's a couple pulls that you gotta slap down at the end. I got all my sponsor parts on here, FSA, bar and stem, wheels, cranks, TRP seven speed drivetrain. I think I'm running like 300 PSI in the rear shock with a huge volume spacer, and like 160 in the fork, just stiff. But I got short 165 cranks to uh, avoid some pedal strikes and TRP brakes. This bike's perfect for this track though. I'm pretty stoked on it. So starting off with the frame, we have a 29er 120 mil trail bike that I put little wheels on to lower the BB and kind of get it more set up for tight rhythms and tight berms that you have on slalom tracks. And that's equipped with Fox suspension. I have a lowered 36 up front to 140 and I just have a Fox float DPS in the rear. Uh, with about 250 in the rear and I have about 140 in the fork, so pretty stiff. Uh, wheels, FSA aluminum wheels with Kenda tires, running about 40 in the rear, 38 in the front. So like I said, pretty stiff just for rolling speed and pumping and everything. And then a uh, full Shimano Grupo XT, but I do have St. Brakes up front just to kind of get the extra power. And then I have a full FSA cockpit, carbon gradient bar, gradient stem, gradient seat post. So super excited to get on this weekend with it. So I ride the Pivot Mach 5.5, uh, trail bike. I have a 140 in the um, front and it's a 160 and 50 usually. Um, and then I got Maxxis tires, 
stands wheel set, um, drivetrain Shimano, cockpit is uh, Deity Components. And yeah, this is my solemn machine. Uh, but yeah, it's one of my favorite bikes. It's the Ticket S with the San Jose Sharks paint job. I used to play hockey for a long time for the Junior Sharks. And so I got my number on there, number nine, and like the Howard in the Sharks font there. Yeah, I think the paint job's my favorite part, obviously. Rock shock suspension, SRAM drivetrain, nice tidal seat. Simple. Pretty simple, it's a slope bike. This is my bike, it's a GT Distortion team frame. They made these bikes a few years ago for the team and they're still holding up great. Perfect dual slalom bike. I think it's got like 110 travel in the rear, 100 in the front, a little bit steeper head tube angle for me since I'm a slope style guy. But yeah, we have the Industry 9 Enduro 305 wheels, new Marzocchi Bomber DJ fork, which has been really good so far. I know that just came out. So um, yeah, and then all title cockpit parts with the seat, bars, stem. And yeah, the Ken, we got Kenda Regolith Pro Tire and a Booster Pro Tire. Perfect combo for dual slalom. Lots of traction in the front, or lots of grip in the front for the tight corners, and then a little bit faster rolling resistance in the rear. Yeah, it's perfect bike for the day. I'm stoked, wouldn't want to be on anything else. I race for Airborne Bicycles. They hooked me up with a 26 inch, 100 mil front and rear frame. Um, it's definitely in the solemn category. I think uh, unique in and of itself. My shock is almost locked out. Um, it's basically a hardtail at this point. And I have a little bit of bump in the back. So I would, I would say probably the closest to a BMX bike that it gets out there. I'm gonna try and win. There's a lot of fast folks out here. Kyle Strait, Bubba Warren. Nicholas Nesteroff, Joey Foresta, not our dog, but there's there's some fast people here. There's apparently a scrub contest going on, but if there was a case contest, our dog would definitely be winning that contest because he was casing just about everything on this track. 